Flight 19. Disappearance in the Bermuda Triangle. The saga of Flight 19 remains as one of the most mysterious disappearances in the Bermuda Triangle. Flight 19 was the code name for five Avenger bomber planes that took off from the naval base in Florida on the 5th of December 1945, but never returned. Flight 19 was a training flight with five TBM Avengers and was led by Commander Charles Taylor. Other than Taylor, there were 13 others in the flight in different planes, but were all trainees. Taylor was the only experienced pilot. On December 5, 1945 at 2.10 p.m., the five Avengers of Flight 19 took off from the Naval Air Station of Fort Lauderdale in Florida for a routine training session. It was a clear day. As per plans, the flight's path was to first head east, into the sea for 56 miles, up to Hens and Chicken Shoals to practice bombings. At about 3.30 p.m., Taylor sent a message to the control tower that his compass was malfunctioning and he thought he was somewhere around the Florida Keys, which is a chain of islands south of Florida. So instead of heading east, he thought that they actually flew southwards due to compass problems. Immediately an instruction was given from the tower to turn north and fly towards Miami. Only if he was sure that they were at the Florida Keys. At 3.45 p.m., Taylor's voice was heard again at the control towers. This time he sounded worried and confused. Cannot see land, we seem to be off course. It was getting dark. The weather started to become rough too. And the Avengers were very low on fuel. Hope was rapidly fading for Flight 19 by then. Officers at the Naval Air Station thought it was enough. At 7.27 p.m., two Martin Mariner planes were sent to search for the Flight 19 planes. There was no sign of the Avengers. The rescue Mariners were supposed to meet at the search zone. But quite strangely the second Mariner never showed up. It too, disappeared, never to return again.